Okay, welcome to OPMC's Helmet Cam video tour. I'm going to give you two looks at the track. One of them is slow speed, so I can kind of talk my way through all the turns and jumps. Uh, the second one will be uh, at a normal speed rate. Here we are taking off from the starting gate, and we go into about a 45 degree left hand turn approaching the tower dump. There's a little jump right here just to slow you down. This is the tower jump, probably a 30 footer, pretty easy. Coming up on a uh, 180 degree right hand turn, a little bit of a bank, and then heading into a straight stretch, probably 150 feet long. After the races they'll get braking bumps built up right along in this area. 180 degree turn to the left, coming into the whoops. Uh, whoops aren't too bad, they're all evenly spaced, but they're not evenly in height. So the big boys can triple in. A lot of guys will double double through them. Some guys will bang them. A little bit of a step up here just kind of slow you down. This area back in here gets real muddy in the uh, winter time because it doesn't get a whole lot of sun. So uh, right now it's looking pretty good. Coming out of here on the right hand side, this is just a little jump to kind of slow you down, get you going for the straightaway. A uh, nice easy little tabletop 20 footer. Another little little double and then now approaching the uh, Juan de Fuca. It's probably a 30 footer. Um, takes the little guys a while to get used to it. Now we're coming up on the downhill double triple option. The triple's off to the left. That's a big jump. This is the downhill double. It's probably a 30 footer and you can jump it as far as 60 feet probably. Long straight stretch, probably 400 feet long. Breaking bumps build up right in this area pretty good. Uh, 180 degree turn to the right here coming up on about a 40 foot step down it's not too too difficult um, but you got to kind of be careful because it's on a corner and then we're going to come up to another double it's probably 30 35 feet and a little jump right here just to kind of slow you down before you go into a 180 degree left hand turn this bottom section down here is pretty fast moving um, right now you're coming along and this is just a little jump to kind of slow you down a little bit 180 degree turn to the right and right out of the corner you're going to hit a pair of doubles um, this one's about 25 feet or so this next one's probably 30 35 feet and when you come out of this remember it's on a little bit of a corner and this is a real high speed section coming through through here a lot of guys are fifth gear pinned a uh, little bit of a step up here and then a wide sweeper to the left a little bit of a bank. There's a drop down right about here. You got to kind of be careful. And this is the uh, tunnel jump, and you have to be real careful here because it's easy to overshoot and land in the bottom. Bad news. Uh, this is the lower pro, probably a 40, 45 footer, I would guess. Uh, pretty easy jump though. Wide sweeping turn approaching the finish line, and the finish line is probably one of the bigger jumps on the track. Then you approach a short little step up, 10-15 feet, 180 degree right hand turn, coming up to a 10 or 15 foot step down. Uh, now coming up to the upper pro. The upper pro is a pretty good size jump and you can't see the finish line so it's a little bit intimidating. Uh, 180 degree turn to the left and this is the newest jump of the track just built uh, a couple weeks ago you got to clear this 20 25 foot section to land on the table right here coming up to a step up 20 foot pretty easy and then a sweeping 90 degree left hand turn and we're getting back to the tower jump now he's going to do it in uh, normal speed You can see when he goes through here, he'll just double through the whoops. Pretty easy stuff. A lot of guys are going about fifth gear pin through here. And he's going to hit the triple. This is a big jump. Long straight stretch. Another fifth gear pin show. This is a high speed section down here. Remember, this is on a corner. 
Remember, this is coming up to a corner. You can get yourself into a little bit of trouble if you bobble on this jump because you still got to make this jump. Fast, fast corner right here. This is a pretty fast corner here too, but it builds up some ruts or uh, shade in the winter time. This new jump isn't bad. Uh, a lot of the guys on big bikes can take the inside corner and make it with ease. Yeah, this video was shot uh, June 26, 2010. Hope that gives you a pretty good view of the track.